Good morning. <coughs> it, is. <laughs> it is the middle of winter. <laughs> Welcome back to Backyard Builds. Again, on the ute. Zach's gonna do a bit of welding today. I brought my helmet. Yeah, gonna have footage of it too. <laughs> oh! I'm gonna make the patch panel for the passenger rear quarter. It was cut out for a patch panel. Yeah, it was actually. It was removed. The, yeah, the guy we bought the ute off cut it out for a patch panel for his ute. So we're gonna remake it. I'll try and explain it as I go. It's a pretty simple panel. Yeah, so a not, a lot of, not a lot of shape, but there's a little bit of a curve and a fold at the bottom. So yeah. We have nothing to go off, so Tom's gonna go off the driver's side. Tom's never done this before. Come along for that experience. Yep. Do you alright? <laughs> alright, let's do Can it. it. What do you got on here? That looks like a quarter patch panel, doesn't it? Yeah. Obvious. Looks pretty good. It's obvious. Uh, walking back and forth, fitting it up. Tweaking it, tweaking it, tweaking it. Just put it back over the manual brake. Shins have got a nice curve to them. Oh, the knee's just that bit closer. It's almost like factory. So obviously the difficulty with this patch panel is it's got two curves or two radiuses or a rolling radius in it. So it's more like a cone than anything. It's pretty hard yeah. to flat template. It's pretty flat up the front. Pinches in pretty hard at the back. I'm struggling just to get it to pinch around the factory here, right into that beaver panel. It's pretty close. About there. But Zach gets a good shot down on the inside. See, just in there, I've got to pinch it right around. Tighten it right up. Tighten it right up, exactly. Other than that, it's fairly close. I'm gonna get most of the shape in it first before I put the inner fold panel. on the bottom and before I put the inner panel on. So I'll just keep fiddling with it. Let's see what else it needs. Is it every time we hit the car or touch the car, something falls out of it? Must be concrete as you. Wait, Sammy. Oh, I've got a fold on it now. Oops. So what are you using there? Oh, I got those cleat codes out again. You've seen us use them before on the floors. So I'm just 
actually using them on the body panels as well today. Hopefully, all this just slots back together. Trims back up. And, uh, glues in there like it was never gone. Right, Rob, between a barn find. That's the one. Simo's favourite. Shout out to Simo. He's been commenting recently. He has. He loves it. So, Thanks for your support, Simo. It's pretty close, eh? I think so. How is it underneath? Pretty good. Might just tweak it up a little bit at the back, but... It'll pull off with a Clico, won't it? Probably, uh, probably just needs a little bit more fold, honestly, because it's just pulling the, just there out. Yep. But that's going to be trimmed for that bumper out by the look of it. Yeah, well, I'll just follow the cut. I can, should be able to trace most of that from the inside. Well, pretty happy with that. Well done, sir. It's in there. Fairly snug. Looks like it was meant to be again. Looks like it's never gone. Oh. Alright. See if I can get one more click on it. I'll keep rolling. done viewers is mark the back of this panel with some die mark or die cam it's just a blue etching die so it just rubs on really lightly and um, when I scribe it so I'm get a little sample here yeah it wasn't the best scribe neither was that but I'll be able to see my scribe mark a lot easier so I'm gonna put it back on the car now and we're gonna mark that from the inside So you find a good scribe, did you? No. Nah. Oh. Not sure where it is. It's not in the top drawer where it's supposed to be. And who'd, you, who'd you lend it to? I have a feeling it's at work, honestly. Sacks up. You wouldn't know what a scribe is. <laughs> so what are you going to use instead? In place of a scribe, I've actually got an old small tungsten here that we used to weld in the TIG Just sharpened it up to a point. I'm going to use that because tungsten's actually harder than mild steel it's actually one of the hardest metals on earth surprisingly uh, so I'm gonna get in there scratch a nice little mark pull that panel back off and then trim it up and it should just plonk into position if you did and that's what I reckon reference that way always I'm trying to think if this side panel's ever been on. Not, not, not since we've made it. I know we've got it. We're doing up there, champ. Taking a break. Taking a break. My knees hurt. Zach's been busy. Not the best, but. Sanding and welding. It'll do. Just make a blend. How'd you go with your panel? I actually didn't go too bad, eh? Hey? Sort of all file fit now. Paint's tidied up. Just about to tack it in. And then I guess planish it and weld it. Let me see if I can get some of that black paint off. 
Uh, back to work. Back to it. patch panel all done and um, took that bit of extra spray paint that you guys probably saw on there with a bit of blue and black on there had a bit of panel beating work back here in the day a few little divots in it but it's better than my blue you feels smooth <laughs> also got tail lights fitted up and tubs are all done now even the bottom sections so yeah, we didn't really feel that. Didn't, didn't, want to, didn't want to bore you too much. Oh, it's still a bit of pain on this side. You have to get that off. Man. You have to get that off. Oh, I know how to do it now. What do you reckon for this week's code word? Tail lights. I think tail lights. Hundred percent tail lights. Thanks yeah. for everyone that's been commenting the code word. Yeah. Uh, we'll pick two at random out of the comments. You guys will get a free sticker pack. Best comments. Normally get them. Most entertaining comment. Yeah, whatever we get a laugh out of. Yeah. Or stories. Either or. Either. I think that'll, that'll about do us for this week. I think that's it for a week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. On Backyard Builds. On Backyard Builds.